allows you to see that there are secret doors to the east and to the west. If I remember correctly, uh, I rolled to the west. Okay. Should be uh, open. Should you want to uh, swing open the door? Okay, it's uh, some vision blockers. Really. Is that better? Okay. Moon Lord Ingo thing. Wait now, a minute. I remember that name. Some of you may remember this guy. You have encountered him before. I was going to say, wasn't that the dude that we saved from getting ganked by like a pair of dragons? I think we did, yeah. It is indeed. Well done. Uh, and he has this quisitive look on his face like wait do I know you from another time I believe there were a pair of dragons involved Daddy will over here and say hi <laughs> uh, the, hy the hyperactive one that teleported everywhere <laughs> right uh, Grisad you're you're a follower of um, Nocticula are you not Yep, the redeemed version. You've realized that um, this rune lord is not the way he was before. He has changed in some way. Uh, he is actually uh, an extremely powerful Baylor. Uh, you can see the shadow behind him. And it's much bigger than what he looks like now. It looks like he's kind of just making this um, vision of himself because that's who he thinks he is or who he feels he is in his mind's eye. But his actual form uh, spreads out quite large and that of the fire and ash type of uh, demon. But he is staying for a moment. I see that you've also uh, changed yourself a little bit. If uh, if what I'm perceiving is correct, it seems that you're not quite uh, as Lanty anymore, Thessalonian, are you? It's been quite some time. And I have had a lot. A lot going on with my service to Nocticula. That's she helped me defeat the... Go ahead. No, go ahead. I'll finish. She helped me defeat the demon lord, Colifer. My soul was granted the opportunity to ascend into this form. And that's when he changes. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> you gotta zoom that thing in for us, Mike. That is a gorgeous token. Sick. I was about to say yes, please blow that up. I need to see this. Yeah, that looks actually really pretty. Yo! Cool. <laughs> is that actual Paizo art, or, or where'd you find this? Uh, it is Paizo, I think. That's a Paizo Baylor. Yeah. Paizo! Good shit! You just see Dayu having sparkle in her eyes, like, woo! <laughs> He says, I am bound to prevent you from entering the Eye of Fury, but not from warning you first. Seek the abyssal runestones to protect yourself from the fires within. Alasnus kept more of these in her vault, a maze you can access from the pool room on the opposite of this. I remain thankful to you for saving me, even though my memories of your intervention so long ago feel like someone else's dream. You can have the advantage over me, but know that once you attempt to enter the Eye of Fury or attack me, my nature will no longer be so understanding. 
Da he Dari's gonna understand. kinda look at him and just be like, can I at least give you a hug? I've missed you. Aww. He'll yes. take the hug. Okay. She's not, she's not preventing over. him from <laughs> showing any kind of uh, friendship or affection. Yeah, 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 she go gives him a hug. It's like, did you? And then also, can I touch the horns? <laughs> he bows down to let you touch the horns. Your, your warnings are appreciated, as well as your advice. I'm sorry to see you in such a bound state, but we will attempt to uh, right this and free you from this uh, imprisonment and hopefully uh, put an end to the madness of a Laznist. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Wolfie, Wolfie, you Wolfie, my friend. <laughs> and Riley uh, moves to, to get Daddy's attention. Like, come on, let's go. She holds up her hand with like one finger up. It's like looking at her fondling its horns. It's like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> never. I said I just touched them. I didn't fondle them. I just touched them to see what material they were. <laughs> Horn. And Riley just shakes her head. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, he's smiling the whole time. <laughs> Ugh, Bart, he was gonna make it awkward. No, he's my friend. I gave him a hug. I missed him. <laughs> All right, let's let's be on our way and uh, see if we can't find these uh, rune stones that he's mentioning. Uh, if you would like, uh, Imlem, mm. to give me an Arcana or anybody else, for that matter. Uh, as you look towards this, um, this fiery pillar. I can assist. I don't even know if it will need it, but... The, uh, the jet of golden flames that's springing from the well going up. knowledge person is uh, Emblem, isn't it? Yeah, Emblem can tell that this does radiate some conjuration magic, so it is a teleportation device of some sort. Uh, you also can tell that uh, if you were to stand in there, you would indeed be consumed by flames. Uh, but you know it would be probably only about the effect of a um, as if you cast a normal fireball. Well, actually, if you cast a fireball with it being heightened to your top level. That sounds bad. Got it. So use fiery body and step into it. <laughs> um, cool. Uh, I guess try door number two. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. It's a goat. No. <laughs> <laughs> I knew we should have switched our choice. All right. Are you uh, stepping through? It's the same type of door. No traps. Yep. Not locked. Yep, yep. All right. Peering into the seemingly empty room. All right. Uh, this, the stone well is filled with silvery water. Uh, that sits in the center of this otherwise featureless chamber. The same type of jet of golden flame springs forth from the well, licking at the ceiling that is 40 feet above, like the tongue of a fire. And the uh, walls of the chamber are carved in highly detailed images of demons dancing as tortured souls writhe below their taloned feet. Um, the Rune Lord had just said that we need to go through this to get to find the Rune Stone, yes? Correct. Alright, well, uh, I guess I better go first. No, she looks pointedly at Tito. If do you have true seeing? Go ahead. I'm sorry, do you have true seeing? I do not. Does no anybody have true seeing? 
no one yep. can have true seeing in this game right now. Okay. I think yeah, uh, all divination type stuff was was blocked. Okay. And uh, Riley looks over to Tito and is like, "Tarsan yet to resurrect me or whatever if this doesn't work out." And with that, um, she does like a graceful bow and back, backs into the flame. Okay. Uh, the flame does not um, affect you at all. In fact, it looks like just an image of the flame as your body touches it. Uh, but the water is cool, almost cold, and it looks like it goes down deep. Alright, um, pencil dive down. Let the weight of my gear carry me down. Alright, as you go down, uh, you go 40 feet. And then it goes into a 20 foot diameter side tunnel that veers southeast and you eventually are swimming about 260 feet submerged in this tunnel. Is everyone following? Uh -huh. Yes. I am. It's Pathfinder. If we all jumped off a bridge, yes, we would follow. <laughs> no, Tito got this far. He's done. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready to go back home and start working on his memoirs. Oh man, that would be a really interesting like GM character or like God character. It's like, yeah, he he his pastime is to to join adventure parties and get to the final like biggest fight and just walk out on him and just watch what happens. And write a book about it. I mean, while she didn't walk out of it, that was essentially my bard and shattered star. She basically was going along to you know, record the story and make serialized novels out of it, you know, to, as a retirement plan. Then you just have Dayu over here, who's supposed to be like this fart, book smart person, but then she's just like hugging everybody, being like, you're my friend, when they were once an enemy. <laughs> oh, these guys should make uh, Dayu happy. Cats. Kitty cats? Lynxes. Which probably <laughs> means they're the magic eating ones, but still. <laughs> Got danger mittens. <laughs> I like danger mittens. Let's go. Okay, as soon as you uh, you ascend the short spiral staircase after getting out of the water, um, everyone standing here, um, you have set off a trap. You see that. Um, the carvings on the wall begin to shift and move, dancing a procession around the perimeter of the room. As it does so, a harsh rhythmic chanting becomes audible, and a crackling field of static begins to accumulate on the walls. At the end of the second round, well, we'll see what happens. So the walls are moving, there's static arcing between them, and all we're hearing is this chanting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome it's a rave. The, yeah. Welcome to the Rune Lord Rave. <laughs> right. That's a really cool name. Okay. <laughs> anyway. Uh, uh, there are two the lynxes door. ahead. Um, and they seem like yeah. when you first came up, they were stuck in some sort of stasis. And as soon as you walked up, uh, they suddenly started to move and breathe again. They're looking in your direction. Great. I wonder, do I have a spell for this, jokingly? <laughs> I don't think I do. <laughs> um, is it possible to, I don't know if sense motive works on animals, but to get an idea of their likely intent? Uh, you can pretty much <sighs> bank on everything that's in here was specifically put in here to keep intruders out. Yeah, that's what I figured. Um, you had mentioned a trap. 
could I? Oh, actually, I see that you have the combat track already up. <laughs> uh, yeah, for the trap, unless you said you were looking for traps while you were um, swimming, um, you as soon as you come up, you wouldn't actually see it until everybody gets up. Yeah, I'm just double checking to see if I have the trap finder. Oh yeah, if you have something like that, that would work too. Don't believe I have that one actually. Okay. Hmm. It's minor major. I do not have any automatic checks for that. No. Okay. Um, so where I was asking about the trap was like, can I take an action or what have you to find the trigger to disarm it during the fight? Uh, yeah, because it doesn't automatically um, explode on the first round, you're just kind of seeing it start. Uh, you can use your round uh, to see if you can do it. Um, oh. All right, so, so um, if we're initiating combat, am I catching that correctly? That's right, because the lynxes are waking up. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my quick shot to get a throwing roll off first. Okay. 44 flat. Yeah. Okay, it's uh, double debilitated. And we'll try to spell. I have no idea what these creatures are, but there's no way in hell they're just normal cats. But I like the kitty cat. I'm sure they love you too. You make a very fine scratching <laughs> post. Okay. Um, you're taking off some of their magic, you said? I'm attempting to spell them if they are cast level 16 or lower. Then the lowest level spell would come off. Let me know when that is resolved. I got one more thing for you. If they're 17 or higher, it doesn't do anything to them. Uh, they are. Okay, so no worries there. I'm not going to know the results one way or the other. Uh, and the newest toy is uh, Master Strike. Anytime I sneak attack something, they have to roll a fort save. And I'm going to choose to try to paralyze this. Nice choice. So I have a feeling that most of the stuff in here at this point is going to be immune to death effects. So I'm not going to try to try to go for an outright kill. That's fair. Okay. Uh, so you need a port save? Port save, DC 28. Okay, no problem, and he is immune to that attempt furthermore. All right. Okay, now we can start the round. <laughs> All right. Tito's up. Um... Let's be here. Um, did, uh, okay, I'm assuming a 32 was enough to not be paralyzed. Right. Yes, it did pass its save. I will just go for the safe play and just cast prayer. And stay where I am. Okay, as you can see, these things. Uh, actually, I'm not sure if you can see them very well. Let me 
me blow this up a bit. They have these seven orbs that are floating around them. Pretty neat. And... They can hurl this orb as a ranged touch attack. Moment when I should have uh, went prone. Uh, remember, you do get your AC bonus versus that, uh, Riley. That's a 35 touch. Yep, touch is still touch. Okay, so to ward off this blindness effect. Okay, so add eight to that roll. Uh, Twenty-six. Thirty-five. So it still it still tags me one way or the other. Okay, uh, it is a DC twenty-eight fortitude save or be permanently blinded. Yeah, I'm gonna twist away from that. Good call. Yeah, good call. I am staggered for the next round, but rather than being blinded again. Okay. Uh, that was a standard action to do. Uh, these guys have a... Good movement speed. Uh, this one's going to throw an orb over at Dayu. All right, so a 37 touch AC. Yeah, it looks like that tags her. And you as well. Uh, let's get a DC 28 fortitude save or be uh, needing a ring blade. Uh, Mackenzie? I'm here, sorry. What's going on? Fort save. Uh, fort. Yep. Mm, that does it. You can see. Yay! Right is up. All right. Um, I'm staggered, so my action would be to perceive and look for the trap trigger. Am I understanding that right? I haven't had to do trapping in combat in a long time. Yeah, you can do a um, search. Okay, I'm gonna five foot back and do the search. Ooh, that's a little, that's low. That's 42. 42. Um, that does it. Nice. All right, so I see a trigger somewhere in the vicinity. Yeah, um, you can try to disable it. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna have to do that my next turn though, because I am yep. staggered. Hallowed Lynx is next. So it's going to try at Tito. He's got a little cover there, buddy.
I didn't alter these guys. These are, I thought, were just cannon fodder, but they're doing pretty well. Um, you, you've brought us an enemy we can't defeat. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, 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 we haven't had a chance Wait. to actually fight back I'm yet. I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, yeah, that should hit. Yeah, I think that, that, that might be pretty close to hitting you. Yeah. <laughs> I see 28 fort, please. That's respectable. Oh, I didn't even notice there was damage attached to that. Sorry. I'm here. Um, now you take 50 points of damage. Okay. Does the, the save reduce the damage any? It does not. Okay. Okay. Minus 50. Do, 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 yes. Do. Damn, I just got past 200 HP. <laughs> Delete them, please. Beat up the kitties, Grisad. Well, I mean, since you asked so nicely. <laughs> huh? Yeah, don't. Check your buffs, inspire courage, and prayers online. Bus. Actually, I don't think Dayu's gone yet, so we don't have a inspire courage yet. Yeah, it's not online, but a lot of people have us online. No, I have that. Well, 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 I was about to say, well, Tito recasted Prayer, so that's why I have it on. And I still have Heroism from the last combat, so... Yeah. So I was going to slide his way on up there, uh, activating his uh, style as a swift action. And we're going to see what we, how these guys do. Hilitated, so add two. Uh, no, that's the one behind him. That's the barely injured one. This one's unharmed. Oh, this one moved up. Okay, I lost track of which one was which. No worries. I I was gonna remember it. Like I had to double check. It's like, wait, I thought that one got hurt. It's like, nope. Yeah, I don't have the uh, the mod that gives some adjectives. So sad. All right. Uh, but again, since I got plenty of these to throw out. Gonna also throw out a stunning fist. Why not? We'll be on the first attack here, so here we go. Okay. Service. Oh. <clears throat> As, as it is your first turn, I did not uh, read this particular thing yet, but uh, enemies in the light of these orbs at the start of... Oh, that's the start of the Link's turn. Never mind. I'll do that next Link's turn. Um, so yeah, pretty much all, all of them are going to hit except for the ones. Right, and I need it to roll a fortitude save, DC 28. He's good. All right, so let's see, that was four hits though, so here comes the extra damage. Applied. All right, anything else? Uh, nope, that's me. All right, Dayu is up. Alrighty. Um. Mm. Can't do that spell because I'd only hit two of them, I think, and then being too close range of the other one. Um. What are you thinking? Dashing? Yeah, I was going to have to play a dash greater. But I'd only be able to hit two of them for going 30 feet up. So move first and then cast it. Bladed Dash actually has a longer range. Yeah, you can just, nope. you can just move closer and then cast it. I thought Bladed yeah, Dash only had a 30 foot range. It does. Oh yeah, 
Okay, like, so... like I was saying, just, <laughs> just move, so just up move two closer and then cast it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I want to get three of them. Okay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> And then I have to roll this, right? So I use the spell. Okay. So I'm gonna close out that, and then it would be landing. Okay, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 25, 25, 30, 25, 25, 30. Okay. Yep, so um, you get one attack yeah. versus all three, mm -hmm. and you add your. Uh, charisma modifier to Probably the attack the rolls. Attacks. At this point, yep. I have created a buff for you that is turned on right now. So just roll a single attack as normal without vital. Without vital. Okay. And we have no haste, correct? Correct. Haste is not online. Okay. That wouldn't factor anyway. Yeah, so hit do that two more times. No, it's one attack and I'm against all of them if I remember correctly. No, it's supposed to be individual, I thought. Make a single melee attack against every creature you. I yep. guess you could do it all three. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So three separate rolls. Means three more, two more chances to potentially crit and destroy one. <laughs> there you go. Oh, so close. Well, she's definitely hitting. Nicely done. Indeed. All three have big gashes in the side of their beautiful fur lynx uh, bodies. Anything else? Mm, I think that's the other inspire courage that Mark rolled for me. Okay. Bonus action to kick the cat. So, <laughs> did you tell Emblem what this wall is doing? I Everyone think that's Riley. Is, is visually seeing something's going on here. Yeah, I'm, I'm like looking at Riley. Is what is the wall doing? Is I, I'll acknowledge it, but Ugh, it's a it's a trap. I'll deal with it. Take care of the cats. Is it some kind of spell that's going to radiate a foul from the wall? Uh, yeah, you can give me a uh, spellcraft check. Forty-eight. Uh, it is going to explode with electricity damage. Hmm. Um. What? Probably reduce how many of these that are going to be coming our way and let Riley take care of the trap. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and look corner and ask. Basically, what I'm going to do is right behind the Dayu and the number three uh, cat is going to be a prismatic wall. Okay. Well, half behind it. Yeah, basically at the at the uh, at the intersection. I still don't have drawing permissions. The only thing I could do is something like that. So basically, on the right edge of that green square. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't mess with anybody's permissions. I'm surprised. But that works. Yeah. And that is all reducing the amount of blindness that's coming every turn. And I'll take a five foot step back and full corner over here using the stairs as full cover. Okay, well, this one, uh, 
just sees a wall and is going to run through it. So cool. let's see what happens. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I did actually didn't expect you to do that. Uh, so it is, you need to do a reflex, reflex, reflex. So three reflex saves, two fortitude saves, and two will saves. Twenty-seven is the magic number for all. That was three reflex, two fortitude, and one will. Two will saves. Two will. Okay. So ten points of fire damage, twenty points of acid damage. Um. 40 points of electricity damage. This is after I'm, I'm calculating your, your failures and okay. passes. Um, let's see. You're not poisoned. What was the save? 27. No. So you're not turned to stone, and you're not... He's happy about that. You're not insane... And you're not sent to another plane. So, yeah, that's just the damage. Okay. And they can still go through it, right? Yeah. It doesn't prevent people from walking through it. Just, It's really difficult if you don't have high enough saves for it. Tell you, you get an attack of opportunity if you want it. <laughs> Swing. Well, that hurts him. Oh, that is racking up the numbers on this way. All right, so he has a special ability. Um, the the globes are radiating light out to a distance of 60 feet. Um, oh, I didn't put into effect this uh, bonus to their will saves, but he didn't. They didn't fail their will saves, so I think that's fine. So yeah. enemies in this light, in the 60 feet, on the Lynx's turn, must succeed at a DC 28 will save or become blinded for one round. Is it the beginning of their turn, or...? It's at the beginning of their turn, yeah. Okay, so then nothing happens right now? Yeah, we couldn't see them when their turn started. No, no, of this guy. It's the beginning of his turn. Oh, you're right, he because was, he, he, he was outside he to, the... Yeah, yeah, never mind. He had to run through the wall. Right, right, I got you. Uh, do you have combat reflexes, Dayu? Mm, don't I think, think so. Question mark. Okay. Yeah, she does not. Because they're throwing another orb. Uh, this one's going at Grizzad. Not going to uh, hit. Rolling a four. I was going to say, that will not hit. <clears throat> this one's going to run through, too. Three reflex, two reflex. four, two will. From the monster right. not from, not one at a time. Anybody, right, how many? Anybody. Yeah. As long as you don't walk through the wall, cat. you'll be fine. <laughs> Seven B. Uh, second four, two, six. Rip. And <laughs> <laughs> That's really bad. Oh, there we go. There's some good ones. So, wait. The, um... Oh, wait. No, actually, he doesn't get the bonus. See, for everyone that has light, um, for all the lynxes that have light, it gives a charisma check and will saving throw equal to the, the charisma modifier. So it gives a bonus for charisma modifiers to will saves and they have a pretty high charisma but because of your wall their orb light is not shining through it because it's an opaque right yeah it's opaque it, this, it stops all spells and effects and objects um but it doesn't matter because you will saves are the the, the ones you really want to succeed because 
Not only is it insane, but it's also sent to another plane. Well, interplanar <laughs> was blocked, I thought, from here. Yeah, it is blocked, so that one won't affect it. Okay, well, uh, it's insane as the insanity spell. It is it's, it's just turned to stone, and it is taken 10 points of fire damage, 20 points of acid damage, and 40 points of electricity. So it is insane and petrified. Yeah, it's it's turned to stone, unless it has immunity to petrification. Okay. Uh, it does not. So we have a cool stone lynx statue. I just know Dai is going to try to collect this thing. Hey, I, I will want the fur. Do not take it away. <laughs> it, it, well, it's a stone statue. It's it a big ass rock. cat rock. <laughs> I'll take it. Do we have a bag of holding? I have two. <laughs> Can you put oh, it in there, please? One. <laughs> We're just going to hear the awful lovely. sound of stone scraping on stone as she tries to drag that thing out of here. <laughs> hey, I have enough strength to pick it up. I'll do it. <laughs> it's just the cat and stone. Okay. Riley's sitting there trying, fiddling with the, the traps over here, and she just calls out over her Leave it for the way out! Yeah, it's, it's a stone statue now. Effectively out of combat. Unless nice. it's... <laughs> All right, uh, Tito is up at the top of round two. What would you like to do? Well... I'm just checking the rules real quick on Wall of Stone. You instantly flash back to the Demi Lich fight where you effectively walled yourself in with it. <laughs> okay, that's not going to work as I thought it would. Okay, um. Dayu's kind of in a bad spot. I am in a bad spot. <laughs> Fortunately, it's not surrounded anymore. Tito is actually going to do this. He's going to call, cast Wall of Stone to create a singular pillar. Okay. <clears throat> right there. Just so she can't get flanked. Ah, she can't be flanked. Good idea. There's there's a there's a pe oh. uh, a prismatic wall on the left side. That yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, oh, they, that they one. can't stand in it though. Even if it would be oh, terrible the one for them. That is there is a statue. Yeah, that's a statue on the left side, and then uh, everybody else is just a little injured. Ah, okay. Okay, I'm not gonna do that then. Okay, Tito will just move closer. Hmm. And I just used the wrong tool. That seems about good, and Tito's actually going to try to knowledge these guys. What kind of knowledge should I knowledge with these guys? Uh, these are magical beasts, so Arcana, I believe. Okay. Well, I've got a chance. Uh, that makes it. I just want to know if um, channel energy will affect these guys. It will. Damn it. Okay, move to here. Um, I am going to cast... Just a singular Cure Light Wounds Mass. So let's get rid of True Seeing, because that's useless now. And I will cast one of these. Let me roll that. So 40 to everybody. Oh, wait, I can't. Oh, 
I, I was thinking it was uh, cha like channel. It's within 30. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Um, you Don't worry about uh, Riley. Yeah. Get, get yeah, you don't have to worry about me. I am yeah, okay, that's going to be on Dayu, Tito, and Grizzad. I don't, I don't think Grizzad needs it anyway. Um, so just Tito and Dayu can gain that healing 40 points, and Tito is actually going to go prone. Okay. Slinx is throwing another ball. So I don't have this um, this area marked as a wall. Hmm? So I'm going to give you the uh, the option, Imlam. Were you climbing up there to try to get out of um, view? I have yeah. I'm basically up in the corner trying to get. I have like maximum cover from whatever I can inching into the corner. Okay. If that's the reason you went up there because you think that that's a wall, I'm going to leave that as a wall. Okay. Uh, so he's one, two, three, four. Uh, that'll be a Riley. Um, uh, so it's going to... It. <laughs> you have defense? Okay. Those numbers should be accurate. What is the thing that happens at the beginning of his turn? Uh, thank you. Appreciate that. I forgot all about it. Uh, <laughs> so enemies turn. enemies in the light at the start of the Lynx's turn mm -hmm. must make a DC 28 will save or become blinded for one round. Oh. Oof, right on the dot. Will saves all around. It's for Tito and Dayu also. Dayu, or uh, Tito made it. Riley made it. Just need Rizad uh, and Dayu. Fortitude? Will. 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 Okay. Everybody can see. Or, uh, that was that was the wrong kind. Just need a Will Caesar. Uh, Dayu, can you roll out a Will save? Sorry, we, we said the wrong thing. Oh, I said the wrong thing. My bad. That's all right. It's all right. You're still good either way. All right, uh, here comes an orb sailing towards the rogue. Uh, that is the one that was debilitated. Does it have any penalties for Grizzad being between me and hit soft cover? Uh, yeah. Then that would yeah, be two. Dodge. That barely miss it. Okay. You're welcome. I'm standing here for a reason. <laughs> okay, uh, this one is not going to throw an orb, but it's going to bite and use its claws. Uh, and it can bite once and both claws. Uh, but at the start of its turn, uh, it's going to make all enemies in the light. Uh, let's see if it saves... Yeah, it doesn't have any verbiage about uh, if you make the save, you're immune. So every time one of these things starts, uh, you're kind of just, they're fishing for natural ones. One more will save, Dayu. Need a will save from you, Dayu. Mackenzie? What am I rolling? We'll, we'll save. save. Okay. Okay. Dayu is one? blinded for one round. One round or perm? Uh, for this effect, it's one round. Oh, if uh, if you roll a fort save and you fail, that's permanent. Okay. Ooh. okay. Right, that's not too bad. Uh, so, for, oh, that was not to um, Dayu. That was to, or that was not to Riley. It was to Dayu. E easily hitting her. Okay. Mm. 
to that Vandal. That damage seems a little off. Um, yeah, it probably is. The damage that it does is... Well, no. The bite is 1d6 plus 1, and the claws are 1d6 plus 1. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they're, oh. They're, they're cats with a flashlight attached to them. Pretty much. The flashlight is the scary part of these things. <laughs> with cats with freaking lasers. My oh. so you five. have cat scratches, basically. So is... Okay, so one oh. hit, and that's seven. Yep, so uh, 11 damage so far, yeah. Oh, wait, no, no, no. no the I bite... have 35. Yeah, the 34 misses. Well, wait, you're, well, wait, you're blinded, so your AC goes down. Oh, so, that's true. So we're using the flat-footed one, which is a 31, so that would hit. Yeah, awesome. So basically, this thing was up in your lap. Somebody made a loud noise, and then it just bolted, digging its claws into your lap. So how much damage total? Eleven. Eleven. Uh, did you heal the forty from Tito? No. <laughs> One second. I'm that. catching up. I'm debating on what to do for food, partially on the side. So. Are they set? So thirteen damage to. To Dayu and the healing from Tito. Riley is making a disarm check. Now, this is listed as varies in terms of how many rounds this takes, so this is up to you, Mike, for how long this would actually take to disarm this thing. Um, it, it would only take one round to disarm, but you are looking at a 44 disabled device DC. Okay, that should be doable. I believe. All right, this is this is your road. Here. Nice. I was about to say yeah, that's a fifty-six. They got it. Yeah, that's me rolling yeah. a seven. So we're good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, no twenty d six electricity damage every other round. Very nice. Oh, okay. Thank you. As Riley effectively just uh, looks or looks around at her tools and just jams her star knife in it, breaking the circuit. Just leaving the star knife there for now. She can get it later. Um, so that's standard. Move. I'm going to break line of sight. I'm ducking in or above or squeezing in next to the emblem here. Okay. And this one is not debilitated anymore. Okay. Five foot step back. And an orb is going at Grisat. Will saves from the three of them. Oh yeah, will saves from Dayu, Grisat, and Tito. Dayu even needs to roll because she's already. Blinded. Oh yeah, she's blinded. She oh true, blinded. yeah. I think you guys are good. I'm just seeing what happens. That is a miss. Uh, since I was able to hit that those attacks last time and get my bonus to AC versus him, yes. Okay. Then you are up. Alright. Uh, in that case, uh, seeing that their uh, melee attacks aren't nearly as... Uh, potent as they're ranged I'm going to do another flying kick provoking an attack of opportunity from the badly injured one as I go here so one actually yeah that yeah, that's a better idea uh, I'll provoke from both of these two closest ones so two attacks opportunity actually oh you're in trouble <laughs> better watch out one of them's got flank hey they won't have it when they go to do that Ooh, wow uh, it's, it's not including be... flank it's 48 get you uh wouldn't be there it wouldn't have the flank but it does hit anyway so yeah i uh, will nice. take a small scratch 
Uh, but we'll start with the... No, no, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, that one won't hit, though. Okay. Uh, so, let's see. I'm going to start with the badly injured one, move to injured, to the south, and, yeah, we'll go from there. Kung Fu style. I'll I'm ready. As much as someone who was cat-sitting a month or so ago, like, I still have... I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a scar from that cat. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't promote cat scratches. They, they're nasty. Right, so how many attacks go on the southmost one? Uh, the first three attacks put it down. He's at negative nine. Okay, and the uh, the southmost injured one here. So he gets attack number two and number four. Number two. Number four. Damage taken. And a little extra. All right. You have pummeled kittens. Congrats. Anything else? I don't feel as good about this now, guys. But yeah, that's me. <laughs> that is up. Alrighty. Sadly, you are blinded right now. Well, I'm still gonna swing as if I know where something is. Because I do at least remember lastly of, like, it being in front of me. So. Yeah, there's so one I'm... that was really still to the west of you. Eh, that one's stone. It's fine. I'm, wait, I'm waiting to collect that one as my prize later. Nice. Consolation <laughs> prize. <laughs> Alright. Uh, the second and the third attack have a chance to hit, by the looks of it. Okay, second and third will both hit. <laughs> You are racking up the numbers. You're. I just realized my mic has been like half volume this whole time. Um, you're racking up the numbers this fight, Daya. You're like two hundred and twenty something damage so far. Yeah, they're getting hit pretty hard. Anything else for Daya? No, that's it. <laughs> it moves up. Um, I think it's really worth it spending any resources on it when you're about to just take them all out um yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, skip my turn okay uh this is gonna incur an attack of opportunity grizzad uh it's going to use its throwing ability uh but right, before here. you do that uh, let's get some will saves from Tito and Grizzad. And I think Dayu also. I think that's uh, at the end of her turn. She can see again. Yeah, Just I think it. right about now would be yeah the time that she's able to see again. And never mind, she's blinded again. <laughs> you suddenly see a flash of light and then it's all black again. It's right. Uh, okay, so attack of opportunity. And you know what? I have I didn't use it this round. We're gonna throw a stunning fist on this just in case. See if we can't do something funny. Okay. Well, we're doing something funny either way. Well, that's gonna hurt. That is confirmed. And one fort save, please. That is a fail, but instead of being stunned, I'm going to see what one of these other options is that I can do. I'm 20th level. Uh, he's going to be paralyzed for... One moment, please. He's going to be paralyzed for three rounds. So Oof. he doesn't get to make that attack. No, he doesn't. Very good. Moving right along. Although, funnily enough, I could have made him permanently in blind, but now nah, we'll go for paralyze. <laughs> oh, look, there's more. Oh, look, more cats. Emily, you got your wall. Oh, not this yeah. room? Okay. It is it. Okay. Let's move over to here. 
and attack this one once with a stunning fist. Or as I like to say, a stunning shin kick. And hey look, it's got four shins. Does a 40 hit? Oh yeah. Yeah, you guys only need a 29 to hit these things. Stun. Okay, stun, and I am going to use the one thing I've barely ever gotten to use in this campaign. Monkey, Monkey shine. shine. <laughs> to move into its space. Nice. He's riding on the cat. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. It's turn. It's done, so it can't do anything. That one can do things. This one can. At the start of the turn, it's going to shine its beautiful light, and we'll need uh, Grisada and Tito to give me 28 will saves. Done. Uh, it's going to throw a ball at Dayu. You can get an attack of opportunity if you'd like, Dayu. So you can't take a tax opportunity. Oh, because you cannot see. Yep. How convenient. Oof. That one hurt. On the upside, can't be permanently blinded. Already blind. Well, you could. You're, it one round versus perm. Yeah, yeah, I think you still should roll fortitude. Basically, the difference between shining a, a flashlight and then jabbing the flashlight into into the uh, eyes. So yeah, die you fortitude save. Okay. And then Riley is up on deck. Oof. Die I might you. be permanently blind. Yay. Right, we we have ways to fix it. It's yeah, you got yeah. people for that. Yeah, good. Well, our people call your people. Uh huh. Okay. All right, um, since I don't have a charge path, I can't do flinging charge, but uh, Riley will come moving in here. And uh, so Dayu is blind, so she's not threatening. So I can, she's gonna move uh, one more thing up here and I'm going for the one to the left of Grizzad. Stunned one? Uh, paralyzed, paralyzed one. Oh, that paralyzed, paralyzed? Oh, either way, it needs to yeah. Ooh, it's very close. Okay. Um, we're gonna bleed it. Oh, actually, I haven't sneak attacked that one yet. Port save. We're gonna see if this thing just straight up dies, because it's just funny when it works. All right. Aww. Um, and double debilitate, and I'm gonna cause it to bleed. It will bleed uh, 10, 10 bleed at the start of its turn. Okay, get to know. Who's up? All right, uh, the one to my south is stunned. So don't have to worry about that one for right now. I could step over this way, and we'll try going after the one that's uh, beaten up on Dayu. Okay, uh, you're going for the top left? Uh, yes. So that's five hits, so here's the extra. And it's the extra damage that will take him out. Yay. Woohoo! That is me, though. Uh, Dayu. Well, something just moved to the east of you. 
Uh, <laughs> I hope I don't hit Grizzad. <laughs> Maybe a perception check, because he, he's not exactly silent as he's doing this. It's the it only like thing moving around you. Okay, because Grizzad is still in fighting. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to say, is like Grizzad a silent monk, or is he like the Hya? Yes. I mean, for our attempting for that one, but we'll see. <laughs> he's hitting a corpse. No, the near death. The one that's paralyzed. Oh. Uh, the first and the second then have a chance. It is an effective dex of zero and is helpless. Hit it twice. Yeah, after the first one, it goes down. And the second one, it's just like you're hitting dead meat. Oh. Oh. Well, she's attempting to blindly uh, carve the, the fur off of it, then. That tracks. There Coming you up. go. <laughs> uh, let's see. That one's stunned. So this next round. Um, I'm going to go ahead. I think it's near death, so I'm just going to go ahead and go with... Leave better goodie. Pew, 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 pew. Let's see. 16, nice. Yeah. See some little uh, holes in its, uh, in its fur, but it is still up, but stunned. Yep, but once one. we get back around to Tito's turn, it will be no longer stunned. Okay, Tito is up. It will also no longer be living. Hey, um, uh, I think you have outflank, so make sure to turn that on. Uh, I'm technically not flanking as I'm in its square. Well, oh, yeah, that's outflank. right. But I still get a plus four because of monkey shine. Oh, that's it does right. does have four shins to deal with, though. I'm just going to full attack, because why not? It's a hit, a hit, and a hit. All said, it's negative 23 damage. Uh, you didn't need your last strike. Um, I... Yeah, I don't think anything's in range. I think everything else is done. Yeah, just the one on the other side of the wall, right? Yeah, and Tito's, right. Tito's not going over there. Riley's up. Okay. Um, so there's just the one on the other side of the wall. We have no... Perception check just to hear if there's something, you know, claws clicking on the... The stone tile on the other side of that or anything like that yeah so, yeah theoretically you shouldn't be able to see it because of the opaque wall but you can hear something over there okay so i'm just going to position myself so that if something comes through there there you go and i'm just going to ready an action to to poke at anything coming through that wall Anything for Krizat? Uh, nope. He's going to be in a similar thing where he's going to ready himself up to... Actually, yeah, he'll uh, take a five-foot step and ready in action to... Uh, a... No, I know I wanted to get through the wall first. Never mind, never mind. I'm taking that back. Okay. Uh, he'll, yeah, still ready in action to uh, attack if it uh, goes to that open space. Are you? Um, the one over here is still in stone, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's basically just halfway through the wall. Dayu, hold your swings. It's just us. Oh no, I'm just gonna be like, wait, isn't there something in stone in front of me? <laughs> don't, don't, don't under... move. If you'll, you'll get zapped. Damn it. Okay. She, she's like, but I want the stone. I want Stone Kitty at the end of this. We'll, we'll, we'll get it for you later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, okay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use my standard action to dismiss. Seeing where it's at, I'm gonna go ahead and just get behind the wall and end my turn. Why? Oh. Well, Why? that's fun. Why? Because we need to keep on going. That's four saves. Will that's saves, 28. Well, three will now saves. Prasad, Tito. Oh, yeah, it's true. Three. What's the magic number, nice. Mike? 28. That's All what right. you need. Okay. And uh, let's see who he throws it at. Uh, that's going to be Bradley. Okay. Let me double check. I don't have something on. Yep. Got that on still. Okay. Okay. Um, as it uh, does, this thing have anything that would see through illusions? Uh, nope. nope. Ah, eh, fucking hits me anyway. <laughs> Try though. Uh, we need a DC 28 for it. All right, um, twisting away. You already used your immediate. On what? Oh, what your shadow oh okay. yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. All right, four two is not too bad. Nice. It's Will saves that my intentional weakness lies. All right, Tito is up. All right, Tito will hop up from prone. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, let's. Are you acrobatting? For sure. Just because I want to roll this hilariousness. 78 um, CMD. 68. <laughs> oh, oh, it has. Oh, sorry. No, 39. <laughs> I mean, I mean, there has been creatures in here that has had that. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, move to here and then I'll attack once with a stunning fist because I can actually attack things now with that. Yeah, because for the last while we've been fighting things that can't be stunned. <laughs> Get all your stuns out. That's a hit. Not uh, stunned. Not stunned. Riley's up. Shank, 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 shank. Basically. Uh, it's gonna hurt. Hit, hit, and uh, hit. Near death. That's yeah, looking bad. Ooh, yeah, you get a couple spells off of him. She, she's gonna defensively like hug this cat so no one arm like harms this one. It's like it's mine. Where's <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Put it out of its misery. No, it is my stone kitty. <laughs> Not the stone one. Okay. It looks up at you with the Puss in Boots eyes. <laughs> Big, round, black pupils. It's so cute. How you think knock, that would work on me? Knock it unconscious. That's don't all. You know, I'll, don't I'll don't you know I've entertained Nirvana inside? All hit. There's just a red mist of uh, blood and fur, claws and teeth. Grizzard casts no. So far, he's at a hundred or negative one hundred and thirteen points. 
You know what? Fuck it. Let's see how low we go. Hundred or negative one sixty nine. Well done. Nice. You are left with a stone kitten. I want it. Who has the bag of holding as she's blind? Like just trying to feel around. I want want kitty. She's hugging it. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll grab it on the way out. I don't think we can even fit that thing in the bag. I mean, it's the size of... Looks looks around. It's the size Tito. of Tito. <laughs> yeah, they're small. No, they're exactly. small. It's the size of Tito. That's fine. I can pick up Tito. I got this. <laughs> it's the bag of holding. <laughs> It's a fucking statue. You can't trust those things. I don't what if care. It comes I want back it. to life on you. I'll then I'll tame it. It's I mine. Don't know. That thing it's got my kitty. Uh, that's what I said. That, that thing got statued by Imla Magic. I don't think it's coming back. And not only did it get statued, it's also insane. So even if you remove the statue ability on it, it's insane. So it's a cat. I was about to say it's yeah, a cat. <laughs> She's oh, blind that's, right that's now. Because it has the, the confusion thing, so at random, it will just attack either itself or you. You know, like a cat. That's fine. I, it's gonna stay a statue. I'm not undoing this. Yeah. <laughs> Can I has it? I'll pick it up and put it in the bag. <laughs> so, next question. Uh, how are we getting Dayu her eyes back? <laughs> um. Oh, yeah, you got the permanent thing, didn't you? I did. And luckily, I have another scroll of that. Oh, and Riley's got or, a potion. Or we use the potion. Hold, Let's hold, use the potion. Hold the scroll because you can target someone else with that. Yeah, I mean, I've got four scrolls, but yeah. Mm. <laughs> I figured there's going to be a lot of uh, stuff like this going into this place. Honestly, good assumption. Okay. But you can see clearly now. Hi. Yay! Hi, bottoms up. It just basically <laughs> jams the potion in your mouth. I'm fine. <laughs> okay, now go put this in the bag. I'm adamant. I'm keeping the kitty. <laughs> you have yourself a stone kitten. <laughs> and it didn't even need catnip. Nope. <laughs> There is a door to the e or to the uh, east. Mm. I'm sorry, the west, and then a door to the north, and another hallway oh. to the north east. And we have a wall we can partially throw on the west next to that north door. Correct. Is that another force wall? It is indeed. Well, where are we going? So we have, wait, we have a force wall to the north, or wait, which so one? We have a force wall here, we have a door here, we have a door here, we have a hallway here. Uh, I mean... We're already here to the north, so might as well go this way. All right. I'll keep a, a wee bit distance back. I don't know what kind of nastiness is going to trip over here, and that looks decidedly red and bloody up there. Uh, Riley is uh, proceeding stealthily and checking for traps as she's going. Okay. Uh, as you get closer to the doors, you see that uh, they kind of just open into the stone themselves. Uh, there are some runes that are etched into the stones. It's, it's as if uh, they were portals uh, to somewhere else. Uh, you don't see any traps. But when this place got no teleportation, it kind of shut that down, huh? Seems like it. All right. Um, 
glancing at those runes a little nervously, because she has no fucking clue what those do. But uh, as long as they're not active and arcing electricity at her, she's okay ignoring them for now. Yeah, they are not. Uh, is there anything visible through whatever this is? That That is one of those said doors, and it has the runes etched upon the uh, where the opening is. It looks like it's just stone. Her shits and giggles, she knocks and says friend in Elven. <laughs> yeah, you knock on flat stone. Okay. Um, crouch, she crouches down for a moment, examining this, this red stains on the floor, trying to uh, identify or get an idea of what is this. Uh, blood stains. You're not sure how long they've been there. Not Not wet. Is the important Not part. Right. <laughs> right. The yeah. green glowing rock thingies right here, are they just regular rocks? Uh, they look like they're There's something some else, here. actually. Uh, let's get an arcana check. Okay. 43. Uh, two out of all of those looked... Uh, like they are not cracked, but they were all at one point um, rune stones, arcane rune stones. Oh, hey, maybe those are the things we're after. I'm sorry, abyssal rune stones is what they're called. They are definitely the things we're after. And this is a force wall? It is a force wall. Uh, you also look over there and you see a a musical instrument lying in the corner. You see a mantle, which is like a cloak, laying strewn about the corner. Uh, there is a rod. Uh, there's a ring with a finger still um, attached. And uh, there's a staff that is lying against the other corner. I, uh, let's see. I'm just going to look into there and see if there's anything very specific, like anything kind of moving in there. Okay. You see nothing moving in there. Um, should we go through? Hmm. Well, there's definitely those runestones we were supposed to get, but also all I can think of when I see that staff is like, hey, best way to test that emblem, crack it against your knee, see what happens. Okay. Um, I am going to just go ahead and go with Boop. Okay. It will disintegrate the wall. Riley sees all this magical stuff strewn on the floor and gets out of line of sight. <laughs> as I as the player has flashbacks to Rune Lord's party wipe. Oh yeah. <laughs> I uh yeah, disintegrate the wall and say open says me and see if anything happens after the wall drops. Nothing happens after the wall drops. Uh, if you'd like to just give me another arcana check or spellcraft rather, um, you can identify the items. More than enough. This will roof stones a liar of building. That'll be nice outside of pain. A mantle of spell resistance. That'll be good for Oh, a staff of life. Hey, Tito, if you die, we can bring you back. Yeah. Uh, let's see. That is oh. actually useful for Tito. It's a chest slot, not a neck slot. It's worn over the normal clothing or armor, and it grants SR-21. Hey, fishing for ones. Give, give that shit to Dayu. Yeah, probably should give for Dayu. Um, the Give Rod of Splendor is nice. Heat your faces. Let's see, what's that do? We're uh, giving you a pretty little plus. cloak to wear over your shoulders. Aw, okay. What does it do? <laughs> it it also deflection. makes it harder for them to cast magic on you. Okay. Not terribly harder, but a little bit. That would actually be better than the Ring of Prot 1 I have. What would be? 
the Sahedron ring? Yeah, plus three deflection AC, plus three resistance bonus to all saving throws. Also mean you do need a cloak. I don't even have a cloak. I'm honestly surprised that you don't have a cloak somehow. I think I got it through something else. Uh, or art. Oh yeah, the ring of arch, the rope of actual arch magi gives me the plus four resistance bonus to all saving throws. Mm, gotcha. So there's no reason for me to actually have like the plus. This. Uh, the deflection's nice though. Uh huh. Does anybody have less than a ring of prot three? Amazingly, uh, Dai is on a plus four. Yeah. I'm on a plus five. You know, it's it gives resistance to upgrade. saves and AC. It's actually lower than my current bonus for saves um, because I have um, I have the robe of the arch magi. So I'll just put the Sahedron ring on after I observe it for a little bit. I'm probably gonna look at it extensively. There are elements that I get that through life bubble all the time. Um, and the staff of life is nice. It grants heal for one charge, raise dead for five charges. And it has how many charges are on it right now? I think you put 10. 10. 10, yeah. okay. And then. It has a lot of splendor. All I can think of is, in, in a small print, it costs only one charge to raise a dead bard. I give this to Dayu. It gives a plus four enhancement bonus to charisma score for as long as you hold the item. It is a nun slot. Yeah, so just hook that onto her belt. Doesn't That's she already have an enhancement bonus? Wait, what is this thing? It's called a Rod of Splendor. It yep, allows you... It. it gives you plus four enhancement bonus to your Charisma score. It won't stack with your headband of Alluring Charisma, but that frees up your headband slot for something else. Once per day, you can magically create whatever clothing you want in the finest fabrics uh, adorned on you. And... Once per week, it creates a palatial tent, a huge pavilion of silk, 60 feet across. Inside the tent are temporary furnishings and food suitable to splendor of the pavilion and su sufficient to entertain as many as 100 people. Its tents and trappings last for one day. At the end of time, tent of all objects associated with it, including any items were taken out of the tent, disappear. I mean, I'll take it. I don't really mind either way, but I don't know if it's really going to increase anything. It won't increase your head, like, what What can happen is that now you have a free headband slot, and you can replace it for whatever, if we have find another headband. Yep, and now we at least have a... You said how many Abyssal Runestones? Two of them? That's correct. We now have two of these things. By the way, what do these do again? Yeah, what do the things do again? Um... Pasting it just a second. Other than those uses, uh, it allows you to go through the portal without um, getting the fire damage. This is planner planner by the spell casters. Spontaneous, so it can't spontaneous cast. Okay, that now. Um, I just had a funny idea. There's a uh, there's a rather large Baylor upstairs who is currently uh, bound into doing a thing. What if we bind him and override it? I would. Say that again? Okay, mm -hmm. so he's currently bound to this place and forced to protect that 
flaming portal thingy, right? Mm-hmm. Look at the hit dice total. Uh, let's see, greater planar binding. Let me see here. 18. Hmm. Probably has more than that. Darn it. I don't have that in the idea. Good idea, though. I was thinking we could override it, but ah, well. Well, we could probably figure it out another time, but, you know, I think it's probably best to stop here. Sounds good. You guys want to call it here? Yeah, perhaps even uh, take a rest in our new fancy tent. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Very nice. I haven't really expended any resources yet. I burnt through about like half of my key points with these with these fights here. Plus especially if like these next fights are gonna be as bad as uh well, well I guess we suppose we can rest after we have to defeat the Baylor since we're gonna have to fight him before we go through the portal. Did you pick There's... up perfect self or old master? Um instead of that I picked up Key Sage. Hmm. Gets me more key uh, points in my pool, and I got two extra powers, which I got some pretty nice options here. And with that, folks, joining us on stream, thank you as always, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.